Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I'm going to be testing this set of paints out. I actually already did, so I already know what it looks like. It's this right here. And you're gonna have to watch to see how I did. And I swatched them all out as well. Here are my swatches. And I did some time lapses of all of that, and then this painting as well. And I gave you some feedback. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So my first impression upon opening these, I don't really know how to say them, Himi, Maya, or whatever, was that they were very nice. Um, they gave me a nice big palette and a pretty thank you card. Or Himi, Mia, I, mean, I don't know how to say it. Um, I got a 24 set. I think the other is an 18. I'm not really sure what the normal one is. It's in this pink box. And then I opened up all these jelly cups. Some of them came off really easy, and then some of them were a lot harder. Um, but I figured out that the best way to do it is that if you're struggling with one corner then just try and do all the other corners because one of them might be looser than others so that's what i found but sometimes it just <laughs> you have to really pull on and it got quite messy but uh it's fine and i just scraped off the paint that was on the uh, little foil back into the jar to try and keep as much as possible and that was it that is my brother playing video games in the background but i just wanted to keep the audio in because it sounded nice um so that's what the yelling and such is and then sped it up a little bit so that's why it sounds weird <laughs> So my first impression when opening this was that it was a pretty professional um, feeling kit. I thought that all the little jelly cups fitting into the tray nicely and then that nice palette and even the brushes, I didn't know those were coming in. Those are actually like my favorite ones to use with this gouache. Um, so I just was overall very impressed and satisfied. I don't know the specific cost. Um, I will link down below where you can find this in the description. I believe it was around 25, but I am totally not sure. So I'm gonna link it down below. I think I got it on Amazon, um, but it wasn't that big of a deal to open all these. And these are so amazing. And I highly recommend these, even if you're just a beginner like me. By the way guys, Happy New Year! It's officially 2021 and I'm super excited to, I don't know, experience a new year. I'm not gonna really talk at all about last year because I feel like people just talk about it all the time and I'm over it. Um, but anyway, this was the final paint. I had a bit of trouble with that one and I can't- it did make a mess in my hands too. Um, but these are all the jelly cups open. And then I have all the tins over there, which I guess I'm going to have to throw out, but I tried to get as much paint off of them as I could without making a mess. And then here are the brushes, um, which there are two flat ones, one large, one small, and then the round one. And the round one is my favorite uh, because I can get some small details with that one. And like, I literally love those brushes so much. There's to me, such good quality. I don't know if that's just my opinion, but um, I think they're really nice. So now I'm just going to arrange them all back in, and I did um, switch them around multiple times, because originally I had it in rainbow order, and then I was like, maybe I should match it to the swatches that I did, um, and also like the swatch card that it came with, but those aren't accurate, so I decided to do my own, which you're going to see in a little bit after I finish this. So these are very thick. They're probably thicker than, yeah, they're thicker than acrylic paint without being watered down but once you water them down you can get them to be like the same consistency or even thinner or a little bit thicker than watercolor it really is nice and customizable which i like also i've never really experienced proper watercolors because the ones i had are like chalky and cheap but they worked um but these feel really nice I've also heard of people saying that these dry out. So far, I haven't had much problems with that, except I did one time leave them out overnight, but that was my bad, and I just put a damp paper towel in um, 
the container and closed it overnight like two times or something and it was back to normal you can also use a spray bottle which i'll probably be doing over time but as of now i think that it hasn't been much of a problem and they've stayed pretty um wet Also, if these uh, swatches kind of cringe you or some give you um, whatever, <laughs> sorry, but uh, I didn't get the perfect circles or whatever. Um, and I did just kind of test them out randomly around the circles, but whatever. So I definitely did notice. I'm using watercolor paper, by the way. Um, if you don't use any water, it is like a little too thick to apply so you need to use a little water at all times unless you want that dry brush effect but you can like see the texture in the paper show up when you don't use any water so next i want to talk about some of the colors and blendability or whatever i am gonna say this again i'm a beginner artist i'm not professional or educated at this at all whatsoever i just watch youtube videos and like to paint and make art but anyway I thought that the colors blended really nicely together. Um, it was not that hard to do so either, because uh, you can just reactivate them with water if you need, or use a damp brush and just kind of um, go back and forth until it blends. And the colors, there are like 24 in this, and I think most people who I've seen have about 18, and I think you'd be fine with 18. Uh, I just got, I received this as a gift. Um, and all the colors are really nice. They're quite saturated. And, um, there's some things, like, on the card, it doesn't specify which colors are which, so I wasn't sure, especially with, like, the dark blues, um, and purples, I was like, well, which one's ultramarine? I don't really know, so I just did my best to guess, um, and also, I don't know, I'm gonna mention this, the pink that they have, they call it pale purple or something like that, or just purple, but it's not, it's pink. <laughs> um, but other than that, these are just really pretty colors and I, I can't stress enough how much I love these paints, but I don't really have that many other types of paints to compare it to. Uh, so, but as a beginner, I can tell you that these are worth the money if you want to be make upgrade your art a little bit. Okay. So I did the second, um, page off camera but this is how they turned out at the final result now i'm gonna test it out in a painting so i did this sketch of a mountain and there's a sun there i don't think i include it in the end but i'm gonna start i'm not gonna really do tutorial i don't know i'm just gonna explain what i did so i started with the light pink and then moved into a light purple then a dark purple and this was gonna be my sky and then i just lightened it up and spread it all out with some water and eventually transitioned to a dark blue at the top and I even used a little bit of black, I think, to darken it. Then I painted in this light blue river and added some streaks. This is what it looks like so far. Next, I'm just going to use a dark... It might have been black. I think it had some blue in it. And um, now I'm just going to fill in the foreground with grass. I also added the base of the clouds. And then I added the highlights on the mountains and some of the clouds. And I think I'm starting to do the grass. So I just did a bunch of strokes. And I did this multiple times with lighter colors as I went. And I tried to make the strokes in back smaller and the ones in front bigger. And then I have a little hill here. And I added flowers and that was it. It was actually a pretty simple painting. This was my first one with them. I added some stars at the top as well, and I think it looks really nice. Now you can see me peeling the paint. Again, this is watercolor paper. I, I just want to say I was really pleased with how this first one came out, but then my next two attempts failed. So if you're a beginner try starting out like this, like there will be some fails. Uh, just keep practicing and you'll have bet more good ones than worse ones eventually. Ugh, watching the tape getting peeled off is so sad.
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am so pleased with the final result. These were so much fun to work with and I am going to be doing so many more. So if you want to see some more time lapses and stuff, please be sure to like this video and I will be sure to paint some more and record the time lapses for you because I have so much fun painting this and I'm actually super happy with how it turned out. <laughs> like, I, guys, I made this. So I love the little daisies. That was, oh. gouache is so much fun to work with. Oh, yes, these are totally worth the hype. Um, I do, I did realize that these are the 24 colors and I don't know what the other set comes in, but you don't necessarily need all of the colors. Um, but I do think that the gouache, um, it, it, it's good. It's good quality paints and I had a really fun time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.